Okay, guys, we're going to go over the work page one right now, okay? So, as always, remember, check out these websites. They're a big help. A lot of times they get neglected, and then people ask me questions, and it's like, have you went to these websites? And they're like, no, I never did, and then, you know, they're a little bit lost, okay? So, don't forget, check these out, even if you're, even if you just kind of peruse around them for like a minute each website. Sometimes even just that minute will help you out. Okay, so we're going to go over... A couple of these questions, mainly we're going to break down number one because number one is very important to the rest of these. So let's read number one. It's going to talk about the difference between impulse and work, okay? So an impulse is a force acting over some amount of time to cause a change in momentum. So let's highlight the stuff that looks important. Okay, I know we're not actually using math in this one, but it's a very important concept. So an impulse, right? Let's highlight that sucker. It's a force, so we know an impulse is a force. It's acting over an amount of time, over some amount of time. I know we're kind of highlighting a lot of stuff, and usually I like to stick to a few things, but it's all pretty important. So, so an impulse is a force acting over an amount of time that causes a change in momentum. Okay? So, let's look at this. I think the number one important thing here is time okay so now let's look at work work is a blank acting over some amount of blank to cause a change in blank well hopefully you did your definitions because if you did those it'll be easy so we know that work is also a force okay so work is also a force we we kind of knew that acting over some amount of this is where they change they separate distance Okay, so it's acting over some amount of distance that causes a change in energy. Okay, so I'm not going to highlight this stuff, but I'm going to kind of red start because I don't want to highlight stuff I just pinned. So it's also a force, and it's acting over an amount of distance, uh, and it causes a change in energy. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's break this down. Um, the number one most important thing here, we know they're both forces, right? So impulse really focuses on time. Let's actually dark pin this. So this doesn't mess up. So impulse focuses on, it goes over an amount of time, whereas work goes acts over some amount of distance. Okay, so let's put our unit here. Okay, so very important. One is time and one is distance. So what does that mean? That means when we're dealing with work, if I push as hard as I can, let's say at a boulder, right? I push as hard as I possibly can at this boulder, and it doesn't move at all. So what does that mean? If it doesn't move at all, the distance is zero, right? That means there's no work done, right? Because if the distance is zero, whatever else with the formula you're using, if you're multiplying it by zero, well, then there's absolutely no work done, okay? So that's an important thing to uh, uh, keep in mind. So when we move on to these, some of these are going to be like, you know, they did this and that and it didn't move or whatever you know that means the distance is zero which means if the distance is zero was there any work done well the answer is no right the answer is no so let's uh let's sort of in diagram here okay let's see can we still see that yeah but we can't see that but that's okay so impulse deals with going over a period of time uh work deals with distance Okay, and they both deal with force. Okay, so let's uh, let's focus that up. So they both deal with force. One deals with distance. One deals with time. Okay, so very important stuff. Um, also, side note, impulse causes a change in momentum. So that's my change in sign. And momentum, which and, 
and then work causes a change in energy. Okay, so those are the all the things that sort of separate these, okay?